Gerald Gutsi Lil Higgins Hanodi Kiaga Di Ragels Kigawaga. Hello, my name is Terry Lynn Williams Davidson and I'm a member of the Skadans Ravens from Haida Gwaii. I grew up in Haida Gwaii and I started singing Haida songs in 1978. And at that time there were no singers in our community. And so I learned with the help of my mother and my father and my grandmother and listened to recordings of my great grandmother who is a big part of this exhibition. Celebrated Haida musician, author, activist, artist, and lawyer, Terry Lynn Williams Davidson has much to share with the students from our school district, and frankly, students from anywhere and of any age. Her immense talent emanates from a history of ancestral teachings and extensive knowledge of her Indigenous culture. Through her ways of knowing and being, Terry Lynn demonstrates a strong understanding and deeper connection of being an Indigenous woman. These are all female supernatural beings, and in the exhibit I'm exploring the history of Canada of making women and other people who are vulnerable into possessions, turning the land into something that can be exploited. As the students and staff of Nalatsi School found out, Learning about culture can come in many forms, and it started out with a rather damp day at the beach gathering plastic refuse, refuse to create with. With the guidance of Terry Lynn and the support of the Comox Valley Art Gallery, the Nalatsi students co-created Plastic Women to be showcased within Terry Lynn's exhibition. Recycled plastics can be transformed. There's a sense of supernatural that might be discovered through this process. It sounds like it was an incredible day yesterday and thank you for persevering with that. Um, and I'm excited about putting on the plastic. It's kind of like decorating a Christmas tree, but kind of a funky Christmas tree. And then we'll put the rest around the bottom. One of the supernatural beings in the exhibit that we will be working to create today is Plastic Woman. And there are some supernatural beings that are contemporary, like Oil Sick Woman and Abalone Woman and uh, Plastic Woman. And again, this is an opportunity to look at how much plastic we generate in our daily lives. Plastic, we drink out of plastic, we, our contacts come out of plastic, everything is plastic. And there are whole areas in the ocean that have become large plastic islands. And so I really hope that by seeing the plastic around us that we can work to create less plastic uh, and recognize that everything that we do has an impact on the land and sea, even if it is as harmless as drinking a bottled water, that has an impact on the environment. So it's again an exploration of our place in the world. Terry Lynn has an innate sense of finding the supernatural in nature, and it is expressed in many ways. Having worked with supernatural beings intimately, Terry Lynn believes that if they could speak, they would express the hope of humanity. So each one of these images is becoming something. It's a transformation into those supernatural beings, and I draw upon my experience in the potlatch and in dance and ceremony. Um, and in that process of transformation, the act of becoming another being, I learn about things beyond what was in the historical record and beyond what my parents told me, drawing upon that body of work to interpret it for us today. Because cultural knowledge is really important if it has relevance today. And so this very contemporary exhibit is a way to make relevant this, this knowledge that is so important for our existence. And I hope that you will find these supernatural beings inviting as well. Thank you, Terry Lynn, for this gift of sharing.